Well, welcome back, folks, to Granbury TV. It's time for our weekly sheriff's report, and today we have a special guest, uh, Tommy. He's a volunteer for the sheriff's department, correct? Yep. Awesome. Well, uh, so how has uh, the week been? Oh, we always have busy weeks, and and one of the we've got a couple different things to talk about today, but then there's been a number of things that have gone on in the in the courts, uh, so I wanted to talk about that. We spent a lot of time, and we always do on any of the investigations that we. We start, um, and quite a while ago, almost a year ago, we did the Patsy Joe Pierce um, investigation where mm -hmm. she shot her husband. Right, yeah. And um, that came through the court system this week, and she was given, found guilty, mm -hmm. and was given 60 years in prison for that, so for murdering wow. her ex-husband. Um, so like I said, he was shot. Um, He's a 57-year-old guy that was shot out in Lake Granbury Estates uh, last March, so a year ago, and she got 60 years, and she'll be eligible for parole when she's about 88. Wow. So, doesn't sound too good for her. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Then another one that was brought to my attention this morning, but it this happened quite a while ago, and this impacted a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Raymond Joe Taylor, he's 27 years old, and he used to live on Alamo Drive in Indian Harbor. Right. And a lot of this was gang-related. Um, him and another guy, which I don't know if that trial has come to court yet, went after some people mm -hmm. and shot a car with, with a shotgun. Right, I remember and that. And he injured a couple people, including a pregnant female that was in the car. Mm -hmm. And he was found guilty and sentenced to 80 years in, in prison. And I found out he just uh, left us from the jail mm -hmm. um, to go to the penitentiary to start his 80 year sentence <laughs> just the other day. Uh, so that was a quite a quite a deal when all that um, unfolded. And he was on parole, and uh, so he's you know had a life of crime, and and I think his crime spree is over forever. Yeah, and ever. sounds like it. <laughs> yeah. And then yesterday, there's been two trials this week up in district court, and the second one, the first one was uh, Miss Pierce, and the second one was Joe Slater, mm -hmm. and he uh, he got 15 years, uh, was found guilty of a state jail felony and a false statement to obtain property or credit was the actual charge, and um, so he was found guilty, and they did sentence him to 15 years, so. Um, He's not very happy with all of that, so I heard he's going to appeal all that. But, and they have the right to do that, so we'll see if that goes anywhere. Yeah. But he definitely has the right to do that. But then other things that we've been working on, um, we had uh, on the 4th at around midnight, deputies responded to a call, uh, to a theft call on the 1900 block of Near Eye Road. Deputies discovered that David Wayne Powers, 23 years old, took a 40 caliber pistol from the victim's home and left on foot. Deputies located Powers, who is a convicted felon at the 800 block of Near Eye Road, and found him in possession of the pistol. Mm -hmm. So the victim was charged. The victim changed his mind and refused to file theft charges on Powers, but Powers was arrested and charged with felon in possession of a firearm. And so that's a felony three, and bond was set at ten thousand dollars. And um, so he's he's still in jail. <laughs> so. And then we had a sex offender that was arrested. Um, my investigators they're always working on things, and I have a couple that uh, I have narcotics investigators, and I have a, a lot of investigators that specialize in a lot of things. And um, a couple of my investigators they they work on when they're not working on big cases, They're, they work on um, sex offender cases and mm -hmm. they part of their job is to register the sex offenders and then as they come in to report in from time to time, then they keep up with that. And they had, had one that hadn't registered 
and his name is Carl Jeffrey Petrie, 32 years old, and he was arrested in West Virginia. Authorities uh, arrested him on felony warrant for fail to register as a sex offender, felony three out of this county. And um, my investigators helped uh, dig into where he was, found him, located him. Mm -hmm. They went out and arrested him. So he'll be transported back to Hood County um, in the near future, probably within the next eight to 10 days now. Mm -hmm. And um, sex offenders are required to notify the sheriff's office of any change of address. Not complying with the law is a criminal offense. And so he's going to be in a heap of trouble. Sounds like <laughs> it. Yeah. Sounds like whatever, you know, he spent on moving was just a waste to move. <laughs> yeah, I haven't so. heard that name in quite a while. Um, but so I don't know what he's been up to, I guess. But I know where he's going to be yeah. in the coming days or weeks. At least he got to move back for free. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, free for him, but it costs the taxpayers. And I don't know if he'll yeah. think it's free if he gets sent back to the penitentiary. So Yeah, no. He won't be too happy. <laughs> no. Well, I guess it's uh, time for our Crime Stoppers. Uh, very nice, very nice. Well, uh, Crime Stoppers needs information on burglary. This daytime burglary occurred at a residence on Mender, Me Meander. Meander Road, February 14th, between 7.30 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. The victim reported stolen a 3-by-3-inch, 3-by-3-foot-by-3-foot three 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 safe, a 380 pistol, and $1,000 in cash. Anyone with information on this burglary can call Crime Stoppers at 817 573-TIPS or go online at hoodcountycrimestoppers.com. You will remain anonymous and if your tip leads to an arrest, you will receive up to a thousand dollar cash reward. Yep, we always have a burglary or theft or something that's a crime of the week and mm -hmm. this is our crime of the week this week. Um, crime Stoppers has always done a great job. I had a gave a talk last night and gave out a bunch of statistics from, and I didn't bring those with me today, but they've, <clears throat> they've been in existence since the middle eighties wow. here in Hood County. And, and they have, I don't remember the exact price, but like this is all worth a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, you know, oh, yeah. 380 pistol, thousand dollars in cash, the safe. And over the years since Crime Stoppers has been in existence, We've received tips and recovered almost a half a million dollars worth of cash wow. and property and drugs, uh, illegal drugs off the street. So Crime Stoppers does work and we just need people to want to get involved and, and help us. And this is a good way if somebody wants to remain anonymous, they're mm -hmm. still able to call in to Crime Stoppers and get the information to us. We deal with it and um, they're in awesome. line for a reward. I don't recall, I think it was like $55,000 is what Crime Stoppers has paid out mm -hmm. since they started in operation. Right. Um, and we, you know, we do $25, $50 rewards for minor things, but then they, they pay upwards of $1,000 reward for uh, major crimes. Yeah. So it's, um, it's been working for a long time and, and paid out a lot of money and recovered a lot of uh, stuff. So. If you got any information on this crime or any other crime, then please call 817-573-TIPS or go online. So. Yep, and the link to um, the Hood County Crime Stoppers website is on our website as well if uh, you can't quite remember it because it's kind of long. <laughs> <laughs> so it is. A, a, there's a link on our website for it. Um, but uh, th that's a lot of money to, that they've, of things that they've recovered. I mean, half a million is quite I, a bit. <laughs> I was pretty impressed. I, I saw those statistics in the past, but um, seeing them again last night when I was giving out that information, it, it's pretty impressive yeah. all that they've done. So Definitely. Um, so is that all you have for us today? Well, yeah, I guess it looks like it's going to be a rainy day and a rainy weekend. Oh, yeah, I know. For the, I always support the Children's Advocacy Center, and mm -hmm. I am a board member for them. And we've got a fishing tournament tomorrow mm. out of Squaw Creek, really? and uh, we haven't had too many people sign up for that. And and I've been told a lot of people say, "Well, we're waiting to see what the weather does." <laughs> well, the weather doesn't look too good, but um, it, remember, it's good for a good cause, yeah. the Children's Advocacy Center. So you know, just grab your raincoat and come on out. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, definitely for a good cause, and I'll be there. I'll be there all day <laughs> with my raincoat on, I guess. 
I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I know we need the rain, and I welcome the rain, but it's the temperature change. It's like, it's what 50 today or something like that. It's supposed to be 80 on Monday. It's like up and down consistently all the time. Yesterday morning was very nice too. Yeah, and Yesterday then morning was great. You get to the afternoon and it's really cold again. It flipped <laughs> temperatures like, in like ten seconds. Mm -hmm. quick. Well, that's part of why Tommy's here today because Captain East, that normally comes in to read the Crime Stoppers report, uh, I guess because the weather changes and this time of the year with the uh, pollen in the air yeah. from things um, blossoming, then he he's pretty sick and. Um, Talked to him the other day and it sounded like a bullfrog. Oh! <laughs> I asked him to get Captain East because I couldn't, I needed to talk to him and he said, this bullfrog told me that was Captain East, but I couldn't hardly understand him. <laughs> and Captain East does not like needles. Uh. He does not like needles and he is so <laughs> sick, I was informed today that he's going to the doctor for a shot. Uh, mm. So he must be pretty bad off. So I uh, uh, yeah. hope that he gets well and, and hopefully he'll be back with us next week. Awesome. If not, I'll be glad to come back and fill in again. <laughs> <laughs> and you did a good job. You well, did thank a good you, job. sir. Thank you. Well, we appreciate both of y'all coming, and uh, I guess uh, we'll see y'all next week. All right. We'll thank you back. very much. Thanks.